Hello, Belovers! This week in entertainment news you can use, Britney Spears goes brunette, Harry Styles has a new style, Kristen Stewart gets cancelled, RuPaul's Drag on hits New York City, Charmed, the original Charmed has a new project in the works, and so much more. Keep watching! Nicki Minaj announces her retirement from the rap industry to her 20 million followers on Twitter. What are your thoughts on this? Comment below. Nicki Minaj announced just yesterday that she's officially retiring from the music industry. This 10 plus year pop rap icon slash actress and producer is taking a break to be with her family, but we're not quite sure if she's taking a break from all of the industry or just the rap industry. Stay tuned on Twitter. Eva Mendes was spotted with Ryan Gosling out and about in public. Are these two doing some doing? or are they just doing the doing? Which I mean is like work doing, not like doing each other. Although if they were, we would know though, right? Is that why we report news? <laughs> Speaking of love, I didn't know it was a surprise wedding. Dwayne The Rock Johnson surprised his longtime girlfriend Lauren Haitian in a surprise wedding in Hawaii. How exciting! I know! Congratulations to you two! May your love be as forever as the sun sets and the sun rises. Who are you? You're just like going, 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 going. Chill. Chill. This week in breakups, Miley and Liam, Katie and Jamie, and Kristen and Disney. Let's back it up. This a long time Miley and Liam drama has been driving me crazy because first of all, I love Liam's brother, okay? And Miley is just fun. I love you, Miley. So let's see what happens. Everybody says that they're just whatever, but whatever, honestly. I'm just saying as long as you're happy people, I get it. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Liam's very traditional, Miley's not, and they're better off as friends. So here's to you for speaking out your truth, and I'm proud of you. Yay. Jamie Foxx and Katie Holmes call it quits. Six years relationship. Um, okay. What, what can I say? Katie, we miss you. You need to come back out, okay? I need more from you, okay? Can we, like, do, like, a Dawson's Creek reunion and, like, launch you back up from where you were supposed to be launched? Because I feel like you were in the middle of getting launched and you said, you know what? No. But no, hello! We need you, Katie Holmes, and we love you. Come back to us. And last but not least, did Kristen Stewart just get canceled by Disney? Now, I really don't know what it is about cancel culture in today's world, but I will tell you, okay, Kristen Stewart, what did you do this time? Ugh, I don't even know how to start with you. Rumor has it that Kristen Stewart's on the cancel train, and the only reason why I say this is because of the article that just came out yesterday. Somebody was whispering in your ear telling you not to embrace your LGBT self, whether you're, you know, fluid. I'm just saying LGBTQ for everybody. I'm saying LGBTQ, so I'm not like isolating anybody in my community, or our community, or the community. Gosh, everything's so different now. Point being here is, Kristen Stewart, in today's day and age, you should know better than to make a blanketed statement like that when we have the internet and a hello. First of all, Kristen Stewart would opened up about Robert Pattinson getting cast as a Marvel Disney hero and she wanted to be cast as a superhero but she made some kind of remark saying that Disney does not support gay or lesbian individuals or something to that effect where she then later on said somebody who was old school and more traditional that does not favor LGBTQ to just be out about who she is unless she's been talking to my grandmother I wonder who else she's been talking to because I was told the same exact thing but you know what boo you be you but just don't blame people okay hello no hidden agenda okay Point being is that now Disney, you know, lashed back and said, hello, we support everybody. I mean, they do. Hello, hashtag Disney gays. Then number two, Disney also created new LGBT characters for their programs. Really? You need to like, just own it, sister. Okay, own it. So I'm just saying like, hello, we're no longer just hidden unicorns, people. Okay, own who you are and just be you. Okay, no one's throwing you any shade. Okay, other than the fact is that you did this to yourself. So just undo it. Okay, just apologize and move on and land yourself a better deal. I really honestly doubt that Disney is a against the gays, okay? Hashtag hello Disney gays, okay? So you just need to get over it. Speaking of getting over it, it appears as though Yolanda Hadid is over David Foster as she's now out and about with her new beau, Joseph Jengoli. Hadid took to the construction CEO's Instagram to hashtag I love you. Well, Yolanda, hashtag we love you too. And in Bravo Housewife news, according to the Daily Mail, cast stars of the Real Housewives franchise have been speaking to Andy Cohen about wanting to get Jill Zarin back onto the show. Jill Zarin's been already seen on yachts with Ramona Singer and Luanne de la Sepp, so I think something's already in the works, we just don't 
don't know about it. Spoiler alert! Housewives are banding together to get Jill Zarin back into the New York franchise once Bethany Frankel makes her departure, which is kind of sad because I really love Bethany and I love Jill. I don't know if I can like love them both together, which by the way, I have to tell you something I'm really sad about, okay? Speaking of, I'm trying to like merge Bethany and Jill, but I could just hear Jill saying, just don't do it. So I'm not even gonna try, sorry. So they're trying to get Jill back onto the show. And even though others have said that Jill's a pain to work with and Andy Cohen, I think has vehemently expressed that he doesn't want her back on the show because she has kind of drama. Oh, I'm all about renewal. And Ramona, I'm not talking about true renewal, okay? I'm just talking about renewal. So, hey, if it's a job. So if Jill's gonna have at it, have at it. But I'm just saying, like, hello. Now, here's my sad part, okay? I, I'm, I'm a little bit late to this train, okay? But I totally used to be a Swift Kardashian, okay? Like, hear me out here, okay? Or like a Swiftashian, okay? Or a Swashian, okay? But I just learned about the whole drama between Kanye West and... Taylor Swift. Now, I came into the Taylor Swift train a little bit late, okay, for all of you Swiftians, okay, or I don't know what she calls you, um, or what you call yourselves that are Taylor Swift followers, but, like, I'm just kind of sad because I love Kim Kardashian and I, I like Taylor Swift, but I didn't know that I can't be both, and I was really sad about it. I was, like, just crying to myself, and I was like, what's the matter with you, Eric? What's the matter with you? Is there, or is there a rule, you guys? Is there a rule? Please tell me. Comment below, because I really love Kim Kardashian. Whatever to you. Ugh. Next topic. Oh my gosh. Speaking of love, I just love keeping up with the Kardashian. Like, literally, Kim. Bible. Duh. By the way, don't forget to talk about the new show premiere. Oh my god, I have a nod in here. Ugh. Like, literally, Kim. Also, in other news, Keeping Up with the Kardashians premieres Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for season 17. Contour by KKW Beauty. Welcome back. No, there's no welcome back. Britney Spears just took to Instagram to show us her new brown locks. She looks amazing. She's also playing her new Parisian favorite, Dernier Dance by Indila. You can download the song by clicking the link in the description below. I know, isn't she beautiful? I love Britney Spears, I really do. One day we'll do a song together. It'll be a great hit. She's got such great style. Speaking of style, Harry Styles has a new style. The internet went crazy when he showed off his new locks as well. The new locks, you mean? <laughs> as in he cut off all his hair. <laughs> Honestly, people, he's still the same person. He just cut his hair. He doesn't look as boyish to you anymore because his hair is not so effulgent. But you know what? He's still the same artist. Hello. <sighs> Moving on. RuPaul's DragCon hits New York City today. This three-day weekend event is amazing and definitely worth going if you have an opportunity to and if you're in New York City. Tickets for the weekend, I believe, are now $70. If VIP passes are still available, you may be able to snag one for about $300 if you're lucky. It has been reported that individuals who do partake in these DragCon events spend over $1,000. And I can tell you last year, it cost me a pretty penny and I went shopping too, okay? This year, I didn't really shop at all. I definitely recommend you head out there if you're ever in town, wherever there is a drag con. And I highly recommend you go there with a lot of money. I went to drag con this year in Los Angeles and it was a great experience. I highly recommend you go. And if you are gonna go, save up and get the VIP package experience because it's definitely worth it. There's tons of performances, panels. You can snap a selfie with your favorite queen, which you'll have to put a donation to it also. It's not free, sister. You can snap a bunch of selfies in the selfie station. You can even take some pictures in front of the workroom like I did, do a little video. There's a lot that you can do. It's pretty much a great photo op. <laughs> It's amazing experiences like these that really help you find yourself if you are in process of it. And if you already know who you are, celebrate who you are by coming to these events. It's an amazing experience. I highly recommend it. Speaking of amazing, Holly Marie Combs and Alyssa Milano and even Brian Krause took to Twitter, letting us Charmed enthusiasts know that there's definitely an OG Charmed project in the works. And I am so excited. I am so excited to hear that Holly Marie Combs is going to play her sister, sister. <laughs> Please, Power 3, make it be. Like, seriously. Or at least, you know. Oh my gosh! <gasps> Light bulb! What if they revisit the entire, like, end of season seven? Okay, follow me here. Do you guys remember when they did the explosion against Billy and, like, the only person who survived was Piper and Leo? Well, what if Piper and Leo were only able to save Phoebe and not Paige, which is why probably Paige is not involved in this project, because I haven't heard anything about Rose McGowan saying that she wants to be involved in this new up-and-coming project. Oh my gosh! Spoiler alert! I'm so excited! Yeah! The Power of Three will definitely set you free! Speaking of Charmed, have you 
heard of the app called Episode, where you can pretty much role play and create your own story based on the storyline? Well, there's this one that I'm following called Rich Witches. I love it, and I'm really thinking of restarting over and just doing it in drag and recreating the whole entire thing in character. Like, it's going to be amazing. Anyway, you need to read it. It's called Rich Witches on Episode. Amazing. That's all the news I have for now. <laughs> I'll see you next Friday for entertainment news you can use. Till next time, keep it real and I'll see you soon. Mwah.